All right, today I'm going to show you how I run um, a search for cash buyers in PropStream. Okay, if I click on here, I'm going to pick this property that uh, that we've been working on. And one of the things you're going to notice is I'm going to have this button that says cash buyers. So here's my property. Here's around the area. But if I click it, it's going to zoom out and give me an area of just Lilburn in general. It's going to show just a subset of the 2,196 cash sales that it found. Now, obviously, we're not looking for 2,200 cash buyers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these filters. And you'll see here there's some results. And I'm just going to add a few filters. So let's say, show me all the four bedroom and up cash sales. You'll notice it goes down to 484. Now I can continue to click down some of these and some, and you'll see a number of different things I can pick. Uh, but under ownership of info, I'm not looking for people that bought cash 10 years ago. I'm looking for within the last, say, a couple of years. So when I go to two, now it drops down to 137. Now this is a pretty uh, large list still, and you'll notice there's several properties in the 300,000s or upper twos. And let's say that what we really want is the lower end stuff. So let's say my max is going to be just 200,000. Okay, now it gets me down to 56. Now maybe I'd like to be below two because I want to wholesale to two. So <clears throat> let's say we make 150. <clears throat> now we're down to 13. And we might think, well, that's a little short. Let's just split the difference. We'll make it 175. And now we're up to 30. Okay, now again, this is all hypothetical. We're not really looking at what we really want here. We're more just showing functionality. But what I can do is I can click close. I can add these to a list, at which point I can go ahead and start um, a marketing to them. But before I show you that, let me show you a second way we can do this. Okay, if I click clear all, I'm going to go to my recents, I'm going to pick the same property. I can click details. Now the difference here is if I go to comparables, I'll see a cash buyers area. Now you'll notice there's some criteria already here because I was messing with it a moment ago. Um, but it's showing me the prop the, 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 uh, the cash buyers around the property. By default, a lot of these fields are not changed. So I'm going to change a couple of them just to show you how it works. So if I say, you know, everything's closed since October 10th, you'll notice it added one to the list. Okay, if I want to go out, okay, show me everything within three miles. Okay, you'll notice, oh, now there's a bunch more. Eh, maybe I don't want 82. Let's go to two miles out. Okay, now I've got 42 cash sales okay with since October 1st 2019 within two miles okay and then I wanted to make sure it was single family if I turn this off you'll notice it goes up slightly by about 10 so I'm getting rid of any anything that wasn't single family and then I also had this this by default is include and what this does is it shows packages and you'll see like right here two million dollars well nobody paid two million for a three bedroom three bath house <laughs> it's a package of multiple properties we can click exclude and it will get rid of those now if i wanted to find out who those buyers were that bought the packages you could leave them in there uh, in fact why don't we go ahead and do that now what i can do is well let's say i want to let, let's see if we can't um reduce our range a little bit Okay, now we're down to 14, but I still got this 2 million, which is good. Now let's say I add these to a list, and I actually already created a list, but you could create it in here. It's called Test Mandalay. Okay, now it's going to show me that. Okay, great. Now what I do is go over here, and I see my cash buyers, and here they are. And it's going to tell me their name, which is great. Okay, so I can find out who these people are as well as all sorts of data about the properties they bought and so on and so forth. Okay, so there's a lot of power here. And if I was really wanting to be curious, let's see if we can go find our, um, uh, our $2 million guy. Okay, it's in line two. So that is BAF1 LLC. That's probably a hedge fund. So that's a hedge fund that 
likely came in there and just bought a bulk of properties. Now, if that was not a hedge fund and it was, you know, down the street Atlanta LLC, then all of a sudden I'm going there and saying, I want to get a hold of those guys because I know I can probably do repeat business with them. Okay, not that you can't with a hedge fund, but when you see a smaller company do that, it's a much greater chance you can build a relationship with them. Now, one of the cool things you can do here is you can click all of these and say new campaign. And you'll notice it'll give me two options, postcards or skip tracing. If I click skip tracing, again, PropStream will do it all for you. You can pick phones, emails, or both, click next. It'll tell me it's gonna bill me 48 cents to do it, and so on and so forth. Okay, now if I go down to uh, postcard, Again, I can design my own card or, or, or pick a template. Let's say I wanted to do it over, so let's just pick the standard size. We click next. You'll notice there's all kinds of We Buy Houses templates here. We're really looking for cash buyers, so let's go with the Start Your Own. And now I can go design my own card. Once I'm done, I click Print and Mail. Okay, if I close this, you'll notice I actually have a couple of other options. Okay, we have voicemail, it says seven, uh, seven recipients, so we can actually set up a campaign for that. We can also do an email campaign if we have the emails. So that's more in a different video, so we're not gonna dive into that at the moment. But that just gives you an idea of how powerful it is and how easy it is to find cash buyers. And then it gives you some tools to go ahead and market to them, or if you have your different tools to market to them with, that's fine as well. But the point is the data is here. One last thing I'd like to point out is if I sort, sort by owner last name, I notice that for this particular area, we've got open door, which um, you know that was an iBuyer. We've got a couple of hedge funds here. And so you'll notice not all of these buyers are gonna be smaller buyers, okay? In fact, Mr. Nugent here might be a homeowner for all we know. But Ernest Buyers LC, Divi Homes Warehouse, all, all right contracting might be a contractor, obviously. So you might have some people here that, uh, again, so it's not a lot of investors buying in this area, which would tell me maybe this is not an investor rich area. Okay, it'll also show you where they're from. You'll notice several of these are out of state. So that's good information to know um, as far as other people in other markets buying around. And then, of course, the data around the property. So you can export all this to Excel. It shows you here if it was on the MLS. So, again, tons of power here to find out not only who the buyers are, but what they're buying. And it gives you a picture into what they're looking for. So hope this was helpful to you. Uh, we'll do some more training in another video. Thanks.